Hello everyone, welcome back. Last time I ended up reloading again and I restarted the video and I tried to look up a guide how to beat this guy. Still not really sure. So I'm gonna send one guy, I'm gonna send Adair to tank the judge. What is it? We need to keep Thaus stuck somehow. So I'm not. I'm gonna try to use this. I'm gonna try to I? paralyze him, I guess. Great. Yep. And we're gonna send Wait. everyone else to shoot this what? thing. Well, that did not work. How may I help? Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna continue yes. to attempt to just get that guy down. Um. Detonate. How much damage does that do? A lot. How much damage does a lance do? A lot. Not as much though. Re Re on your yes. That still did not do anything. Okay, we're gonna try to confuse. Thing is that's the only thing I know that does anything. No, you need to be attacking this thing. What is it? This thing. Oh crap, now I already have no endurance. Okay, excellent. They're all distracted How for the time help? being. Not very long, but long enough I could probably do something to this guy. Yeah, no, of course it's going to be dead. Quiet. Just get quiet. This thing isn't doing your job. Is it even possible to win with this party yeah, currently? Yeah. Come on, Palagina, hang in there. Kill everything in the area. I didn't do anything. Wonderful. Maybe we have to leave and get to level 12 before we even try this, because it is so hard. But then I would have to do everything over again. I don't want to do that. <sighs> Cheats for Pillars of Eternity. I know this is absolutely stupid, but I see no way how I'd even get past anything. Oh no, this isn't going to be doing anything. Oh, there are no cheats, are there? Wait, Kant's commands. Well. Add experience amount? Is that, gonna, is that what, would that actually do anything? I, I wonder. Huh. Set attribute score player name attribute amount. So I could just max out everyone's stats. Hmm. Head ability, kill everyone in the area. That would be nice. Add experience and amount. You have to let's see. Roll, isn't it? Roll. There's a there, there's a way to like enable the cheats. It's like roll something. How to enable pillars of eternity console cheats. like the same thing or I don't remember what it's called I roll 20s yes okay I roll 20s it's enabled warning achievements disabled for this game I don't really care so now add experience nine 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 that didn't work okay Add experience. Control, control, what? No, it's not what I mean. 2000. Excellent! That worked! <laughs> this is absolutely stupid and I really hate having to do so. But I'm doing it. 
More athletics. Not that it'll help. Disintegration. Mind plague. Foe dazed, confused. Amplified wave. Crushed prone. Alright, we'll just use disintegration. Next level. More stealth, I guess. We're at the max level. Amplified wave. Alright, we'll get both of those. Draining whip. Yeah, Alright, whatever. We'll get draining whip as well. This is probably the worst way to end a Let's Play series by just cheating. I am so sorry, everyone. This completely wrecks everything, don't it? But I don't see any other way. I honestly don't. I just... Unbroken. Fire's endurance below one. Passive. One per rest. The fighter refuses to be vanquished at zero endurance. The fighter stands back up and is infused with 50% of her maximum endurance as well as ever increased to defenses and damage reduction. Nice. We're going to use that. More stealth, because whatever. Bonus, knockdown, weapon mastery, ruffian. I don't think that's exactly what we want. Fire, damage against a vessel. I don't think that'll do anything. Defensive bulls will. Fortress. I don't think that does anything. Let's just give him superior deflection. I don't even care. Pelagina, just give you more stealth. Aspiring triumph. Passive. Open all defenses whenever you down an enemy. Well, we're not going to be downing any enemies here. Liberating exhortation, zealous charge, zealous endurance. Deprive the unworthy. Reinforcing. Target, bunch of deflection, hastening, attack speed. Free per rest. I don't even think we need that. I don't think that applies to endurance. I think the only thing that would be useful here is soul. I don't even know. Back speed, maybe. Critical focus. I don't think that will do anything for her. Two weapon style. Yeah. Endurance, please. Athletics, because your athletics sucks. New spells. Spark of the righteous. Spark the souls of the righteous. Or against treachery. Chimer dominate. Oh, hello. I'm being messaged. I met the final boss. I'm cheating, because it's too hard. Calls upon the aid of the priest god, restoring endurance and reducing duration of all negative effects. Yep. Crowns for the faithful. Crowns allies in the glory of priest god, imbuing all allies in the area of effect bonuses, perception, intellect, and resolve. Cleansing flame, priest falls over a wall of holy fire, the enemy that purges its protections its, and speeds and its doom. This can use burn damage for five seconds and okay, whatever. Nope, haven't finished endless paths. More athletics, because screw you. I will eventually. Grandizing Radiance. That would be probably really good. Painful interdiction. Weaken for nine seconds. Five accuracy. Hmm. We'll go with aggrandizing. That's pretty close to the end. If you rush through it. Lore. Technically, the way I'm cheating here is just leveling up everyone that I would like to be to the level where we would actually fight them maybe later on if I bothered to do the rest of the game. Deflection. Oh, we'll just go with that one. 
Invocation, summon two ogres, revive, dexterity, perception, and intellect, freeze, might, constitution, resolve. That's what I want. Two handed weapon style, because you know, I don't know why I don't care. I'm just going to give them something. Yes? Okay, much more lore. I don't care. Arcane Reflection, Chain Lightning, Death's Ring, Freezing Pillar, Piercing Burst. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Death Ring, Corrode, damage over time, Faster Deflection, holy crap. Might, Constitution, 8 to 6, Dexterity. Dang, nab. Might as well use that on him like, so he can use stuff really quick and not die. <clears throat> Arcane Reflection. Spell Reflection for a bunch of seconds. That sounds pretty strong too. On this fourth level spell because whatever. Okay. Does that mean yes. we can kill him still though? That's the question. Manifest the target's allies' mental strength and projects them outward forcefully, causing the shockwave that inflicts crush damage and knocks any the area of effect. Disintegration. Targets that have their endurance reduced to zero disintegrate into non existence. Unfortunately, this game doesn't work where you kill the target's health, you kill their endurance. Where's an enemy's memory with calculated accuracy, confusing and dazing them before rapidly jumping up to five other targets? Okay, we're gonna do that. Everyone go there, Quit. fight that thing. You fight that thing. On your word. You come forward. Wait. I cannot change my chance. Okay, Faust, you are under my control what is while it? you're confused. For the time being. Let's try to use disintegration on this thing, even what? though it uses up the rest of my stuff. Right, so that gives him a lot of stuff. Yes? Aloth, you... Gaze of the Adrigan. Oh, that's the spell. We already have it now, then. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. We have to use that again, then. He's confused. Why is he casting a spell? Yes. Not allowed to cast a spell. That didn't do anything again. How may I help? That spell's supposed to petrify him. Oh, there's the headman, and he's almost dead. Uh, I'm gonna give myself some attribute hey. buffs. Yes. Still alive? I need yes. something oh. so This thing is near death. Yes. Okay, he is petrified now. Okay, that thing is dead now. We will kill this. Quit. As soon as we revive the priest. Hmm? Okay, now we're gonna Okay. Endurance is down yet again. To nobody's surprise. Yes. What does this do again? Okay, bonus. Might and resolve. I? Come stand in this area. And shout yes. it at their face. And then. Try to paralyze him. Well? Mm, mind plague? Again, amplified wave. Oh man, I wanted that though. This does a lot more damage, doesn't it? Fortitude plus versus fortitude. What's his fortitude? It's really high. 
Yeah, we'll use Amplified Wave on hey. you then. Hi? Yes? Okay, he's almost dead. How much easier this is having cheated and leveled up all my characters. Okay, we got him, finally. Wow, that wasn't so hard. Of course, I finally had the spells that allowed me to do that, really. Now we just have to kill this thing. This one was lost during this. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Yay, we're winning now. After I maximized level all my characters. Yeah. I have them. Come on, get up. Kill it. Kill it. We're so close. We can do it, I believe in you. That's it. Okay. I did it! I think. At your feet rests the body of Theos, hollow. The dense wrinkles shaped by the silent shouldering of an eternal burden now smoothed across his color-drained face. His soul remains still on for the moment, defenseless, its energy expended in defeat. It lies sprawled across his body like a death shroud. All those lifetimes spent to preserve a single vital secret. I would expect a man to reconsider his choices after the first 500 years. Theos followed his mistress's orders too well. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse that he will remember this again one day after he makes it through the wheel. Some point, you have to look at the things your god is telling you to do and ask yourself if it's worth it. He spent his lives more than any of us will ever know. For what? Binding the world to a lie. Could a man like that ever be redeemed? That's the point of no return. Explore Thaus's soul. With a deep breath, you plunged into Thaus's soul, and where in Brackenbury it had been a maze of narrow corridors and dead ends, now it is expansive and borderless. Its walls crumbling into heaps like the ruins of Engwith as you pass through them. You travel for what seems like ages rushing to a known des destination, a memory you glimpsed once before. At last you see it no more than a pinprick of light at the end of a long tunnel, expanding slowly at first, then quickly as you near. You come out in the room you are standing in now, but it is new and pristine and filled with people, thousands of them, all turned towards the great Adra pillar and the machine that encases it. Thou, Theos, not Thou, Theos stands at the machine, and you are one with him, and you are one with him now. You look out at the crowd, at faces of shriveled old men and cherub-cheeked little girls, at mothers bouncing infants to quiet them, and fathers clasping their children's restless hands, and watching you with somber acceptance. A woman t with tears in her eyes gives you a small nod. You turn back toward the machine, your breaths constricted beneath the weight of unwanted knowledge, preparing yourself to set out alone on a journey without end. You close your eyes and open them again to find the machine still in front of you, beckoning. You take your, you take your place in front of it and place your hands upon a large mechanical desk at the base of the great crystal column and spread and, or, and speak a single word. Giant rings creak to life, building speed, setting arrays of carved draconic mouths aglow and sending tremors through the platform beneath you. The entire room shakes now with the force of, acceler of the accelerating machine, all sound drowned out by its deep, deafening thrum. Brilliant tendrils of light arc outward from the pillar in all directions, and you look over your shoulder to see them engulfing the crowd, burning them brightly like hot iron. One by one, the tendrils disappear, leaving ashen effigies where people once stood, many of them disintegrating into gray heaps under the stress of tremors. You look above to the Adra pillar, and a glowing spherical mass has begun to coalesce atop the, the column where the arcs converge. It grows and pulses, translucent and bulbous like some immense chrysalis, suspended in slow rotation as though it were being spun from the arcs of light. When the last arc disappears, the spectral mass hangs a moment, no longer rotating. So bright you must shield your eyes with an outstretched hand, and it seems to you as though it is looking at you. 
You bow your head in acknowledgement and look back up to see it melt into the pillar like warm candle wax. The pillar flares with a flash of light bright as the sun itself, then fades to darkness. The machine slows down to an abrupt halt when, and when the last echo of its grinding cogs has passed, the chamber is still and you are alone. From all sides, reality begins to bleed in through the memory, and you find yourself in your own skin once more looking down at, on Theos's lifeless body. You sense a listlessness to Theos' soul, an overwhelming fatigue that hinders its immediate escape and makes it, makes it vulnerable to manipulation. You feel as though your victory has given you some kind of hold over it, and you are able to do with it as you please. Turn it to the cycle? Tear his soul apart. I do not have you. Banish his soul. Free him and... Destroy all memories contained within. There's two tear parts to the soul. Hmm. I'm going to destroy them. Your memory makes you a slave to your own past. Perhaps it can't be undone, but it can be forgotten. It shall trouble neither of us any longer. No! You cannot allow this. He will have no reminders. He will not remember the message we wrote on his fragmented bones and carved into his flesh. The lesson we burned into his soul. You are kinder to that man than I would have been. Pelagina shakes her head, confused. A questionable act. Without his memories, there'll be nothing of Theos left to appreciate your mercy. I don't care. I want him done for and I want him gone. I just want to destroy every memory of him. You return to the landscape of Theos' memory, to the vast terrain of deceptions and crippling despair, and you can feel your agency in this world now, an ability to reshape to the whims of your dominant will. You focus on a vision of pure emptiness, pure emptiness, emptiness, excuse me, and your will becomes a swirling vortex around you, sweeping through the landscape and bearing away moments and lifetimes like apocalyptic bio, like some apocalyptic bioic that would tear away the essence of the planet itself. The storm builds until the very crust of the world peels from the fabric of the soul that anchored it, and it is borne off into the sky until it is too distant to observe. The last thing you see is a white void, boundless in all directions, unfettered by the shackles of experience and doubt. In the stillness that follows, a single word echoes through your mind, a word that you spoke when you were one with Theos in an ancient memory. You realize it is the word that activates the machine. exactly happened here as you wish all right so yeah i know i cheated to win even though it was just a simple pretty simple cheat to just level up everyone but uh yeah i don't want to have to load back and do everything over again maybe at some point i will load back do the quest again maybe i'll try to beat him legit so we'll see um that'll be the end of this episode this is still not the end crazily enough but it's been 24 minutes so we're gonna stop this um i apologize if you, you know if you don't like that i cheated I completely agree. I really don't want to, but I felt like I had no choice. It sucks when that happens. You know, I think Baldur's Gate 1 is the only one of these kinds of games where I've never had to cheat in the end. I'm pretty sure. I've never beaten Baldur's Gate 2 without cheating before. So, anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is an interesting ending. I really like it. So, we'll see you next time where we talk to everyone about this.